Okay, in my last video I showed you how to set the gains using the DD1 Plus, or at least how I did it. At the end of the video I showed you the voltage, that was actually incorrect. The proper voltage would have been shown if I would have went back to track 1. Anyway, this is the CC1. Shows you right here. It gives you some instructions. Well, it gives you all the instructions, excuse me. Anyway, let's see. Right here. So we're going to set the low pass right now. It shows setting the low pass right here. See if we can get it to focus real quick for a second. It says this procedure will set the low pass cross crossover frequency to a desired set point. This is accomplished by setting the bass, treble, etc. to zero and any EQs and crossovers at the head unit to flat. When finished, you can reset the bass, treble, EQ, etc. as desired. Connect the CC1 electronic crossover outputs by plugging in RCA crossover outputs to CC1's input or use the included harness to connect the CC1 to the amplifier speaker outputs red to the positive, black and to the negative. If the unit is already on, switch the CC1 off by holding the off button for one second. This must be done to initialize the program mode. Now switch the CC1 power on by pressing the on button. Set the source unit's volume to zero. Select the track on the CD that corresponds with desired crossover frequency and play the track on repeat. Set the crossover switch to off. All pass full. Skip to step eight. It's basically saying it wants the amp in full range mode. Also, I failed to mention that in the gain video, but you want your amplifier in full range mode. What that means is you want like your subsonic filter all the way down, and you want your high pass filter all the way up so you can catch all frequencies coming through, and you want all signals to go through the amplifier. And like, like uh, Steve says, Steve Mead, we're going to fix all that later. Now... If the crossover can't be turned off, then turn the crossover frequency to its highest setting, which is like I just said. And then turn the source unit volume until you see the the signal LED illuminate green. If the LED re illuminates red, this indicates the volume is too high. Turn the volume down until the LED remains green. It says, when the signal LED remains green, press the read button. Set the crossover switch to low pass if it has one. Using the LEDs at the top of the CC1, slowly turn the crossover frequency adjustment until the calibrated LED illuminates. Congratulations, you have just set your crossover frequency perfectly. Alright, so we got a little remote here for our stereo. Damn, I need to clean that out. Anyway, so we're here. We're going to turn this. Um... I actually like to set my test tone first, even though, I mean, I don't think it matters, but <laughs> we're going to go in here, we're going to go to our SMD C, uh, C, C1 disc A, we're going to go to 80 hertz, because that's what I want to set it at, I, I got a solo barrack 10, you could probably set it at like 100 or 120 even and catch some of those mids, but I seem to like 80. It, it hits it hits mids pretty good and lower, so that's what I want. And then we're going to turn the volume all the way down, as you can see, all the way down. Then we're on the 80 hertz tone. We're on the repeat. So once you do all that, come back here. We're going to turn, our meter is hooked up to the amp, speaker outputs, I don't know if I said that or not, but yeah, and then it, you, it comes with this wire, so you're going to turn it on. So we're looking for this light right here to go green, the signal light. So we're going to take our remote, and we're going to turn this stereo up. Alright, so we got signal. Okay. It even shows it on that little sound stream. <clears throat> now we're going to come over to where they said they said to turn it to the low pass. 
so we're going to go to the slow pass right here kick that over see where it says now it's on okay then we're going to go over here to where it says low and it goes between 50 and 500 hertz okay we're going to turn it down until it says calibrated or actually no 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 right here where we have signal where it has signal I messed up so we're at signal we're gonna hit that read now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna turn my phone's dying so bear with it guys we're gonna flip this off right here we're gonna come over to this and we're gonna turn this down see how I'm turning it down slowly until our calibrated light says calibrated hold on let it start up again if your signal uh, if your song stops just wait and let it go on the repeat everything will continue on oh missed it it says calibrated right there now I'm gonna show you on this amplifier if I can get a good picture but see how there's 70 and there's a hundred I'm almost dead in the middle of that so I mean you would have never been able to tell that that was 80 you know if you can get a picture of that but that's what it's saying 80 is at that is 80 hertz perfectly calibrated doesn't get no better now that we've done that we're going to set the subsonic to or uh, Steve doesn't like to call it subsonic infrasonic filter to uh, 20 Hertz so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it back off okay let me grab a battery charger real quick okay so now we're gonna go back into the filter or the music we're gonna select 20 Hertz we're gonna turn it all the way back down again okay We're going to turn the meter on. We're going to turn up the volume till we get a signal. Right there, we got a signal. We're gonna read again, right here. It's reading, okay. Now we're gonna go over here to where it says, my on mine, it's infrasonic, but it says high because it goes from five, right here. Let me show you. On this one, see if we can get a better picture it goes from 5 to 60 I got it at 5 we're going to turn it up we're going to see how good this works we're going to turn it to that 20 mark oh past it right there so you can see we're right on that 20 mark it looks like fairly close I can't see fairly close to that 20 mark and it shows perfectly calibrated once again and there you have it I have now set my 
high pass crossover or low pass crossover to 80 hertz or below and now I've set my infrasonic filter to 20 hertz and above so this amp is going to be doing its most to capture frequencies from 20 to 80 hertz and put it out on this 10 as you know to the best of its ability and then if that's not working out I'll take this guy right here and then I'll restore some of that lost 40 hertz signal and then you know kind of help bring up the middle of that and that's it guys I mean that's my setup